Okay, so now Scott, what is that again? Haha, <laughs> America. We have chicken blowing balloon fireworks. It mm. combines everything you love. Chickens, balloons, and fireworks. What does it do? Uh, I guess the chicken blows balloon. I don't know. Look, uh, light one of these and see. Okay, well, right. wait, 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 wait. Your hands are your money maker, dude. Oh, they are kind of dangerous. Yeah, let's have a, uh, let's have a uh, purple pig light it. Lazy pig, it's time you get a job. Yeah, come here, purple pig. I mean, he has that one job. <sighs> He's a model for a Play Pig magazine. Yeah. Should we remove purple pig? That is the greatest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> wow, that was amazing! That was awesome! That was what? Purple uh, pig. Uh, purple, oh. oh no, he didn't get away in time. Purple pig. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Balloon Blast Video Show. We're in Season 4, Episode 2, and he is Scott Tripp. And he is Sam Crummings. And with us as always is Purple Pig. Alright, well welcome back. It's been two months. It's kind of been two months. Yeah, it's been a, it's been, uh, been a bit. Now it seems like it's been a long time, but I don't know if everyone knows this. In between the periods, where we do every two months, right. on alternating months, we do send out videos to all our Patreon supporters. Yes. If you're not a Patreon supporter, you're probably watching going, what? Well, let's tell them, what? All right, what is, is that for our $10 and up Patreon supporters, I do give a tutorial, a free tutorial that's exclusive and will never be produced anywhere else ever again. So you're watching this, you're like, oh, it shows how to make a flower or some kind of a giraffe or animal. Nope. Sam, uh, last time sent out the right inside bowl, which is basically one of those old school Devon torture balloons he yeah. used to make. A Devon bowl, we say. Yes, but it was a, a really cool bowl head and. 20 uh, minute video you guys got. Friend of the show, Arizona Rick, used it the very next day in his show. That's how. Shout out Arizona Rick. Is. That's how great a design it was. He's one of our favorite people. He's yeah. amazing. Met him years ago. I drove out to Arizona. He came out to a balloon jam. Wow, it's been a while, but. um. Yeah, it, I like seeing his pictures pop up on Facebook. Yeah. The shows he does. Rick's, Rick's very a good creative. Dude. And, you know, a lot of people buy DVDs, learn how to do stuff. I like to see when they implement it. You yes. get to see it shown back. Like a lot of the Buster stuff that he makes, the big stuff, makes its way into the show. Speaking of making big stuff, you've been making big stuff. I have been making big stuff. I have a new restaurant. The uh, seafood breakfast place. The seafood lunch place, yes. Well, see, I go in from 12 to 2, one Saturday a month. 12 to 2, two hours. That's not enough time for most people to make really big stuff. But what were you telling me you made there the other day? I made a, the mermaid was about five feet tall. Using some different techniques I was testing out just to, just to make a showpiece. Um, I also made uh, two of the uh, Buster Balloon elephant hats while I was there. That's the big the hat. The big hat. That's all in all, I made balloons for about 20 people over the course of the two hours I was on the clock. That's fairly amazing. That's some uh, quick twisting. I, well, you know, I practice my speed. Right, and you do the math on that. That's uh, you're pumping out balloons really quickly, and people watching at home might be like, "Well, I can make a dog, I can make a sword, I can make a whatever." Well, it's time that we all have to step our game up. People like this are in our territory. I do that Buster Elephant in seven minutes now. If you guys have seen that Buster Elephant, it's it's, it's quite sizable. a showpiece. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Oh, also, also, I got to see Weird Al Yankovic. What? I didn't see any mention of this on Facebook. Or I anywhere know. Else. No, I uh, I got to see Weird Al Yankovic and make him some balloons. Well, people who follow you on Facebook may have seen your Weird Al Yankovic balloon. Yeah. But people all across the country who don't even know you may have seen your balloon. Yeah, because it went on Weird Al's Instagram. Well, it also went on the uh, CBS This Morning. It was on CBS This Morning as the, well. That is they correct. interviewed Weird Al Yankovic, and you, like, basically, you opened for Weird Al. <laughs> I, I, did. I turned it into, and it's like, all about me. The first 20 seconds of his interview. Is, is <laughs> Sam Cremines. How unusual. Sitting in the sixth row. <laughs> Nice. Holding a weird owl balloon and walking around in the pre-party with it. 
Wow, those uh, who really pay attention have could learn something from this, huh? Yes. It's always Every promote. chance you get, promote yourself. Promote, promote, promote. Be seen. Well, you're uh, good at that. I actually got recognized in that restaurant <laughs> from being at that concert, and I have booked two gigs off of that. Wow. So your tickets were free? Essentially, yeah. But you got the VIP expensive ticket. Yeah, I got still. the expensive ticket, but it's paid for <laughs> with, with the one booking. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you got some bragging rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some mileage out of that. I made a really cool weird owl balloon. All right. Well, enough about you. <laughs> I'm that. Something for our guests here. We had this contest where we're stealing something off your wall. Let's take the... Uh, this one. We'll take that one. This one. Last episode, we said that a random commenter to that episode would win this keep cone and twist balloons uh, like watercolor and ink frame thing that you could put on your wall. Now... We have a half full of names. Oh, sorry about that. You dropped a couple names. <laughs> Going back in. We want this to be random. So we're letting Purple Pig choose the name. We're going to use some glue dots or sticky little round things. Can't tell you exactly what they are or where I get them. Wait, there's one. Ah, good. Okay. We're going to put one of those right there. Purple Pig is going to go into the hat and take one name at random. One name, Purple Pig. Ah. That's try, why we can't have nice Try things. again, Purple Pig. Oh, uh, he needs more, uh... Snot. Nice loss. All right, snot. Snot. Ready? Ready? Go! It's like a Hasbro game. Oh, there we go. And the name is... Duncan Wait. McDonald. Duncan McDonald. You have one of these things coming to you. So I'll message you, or we'll find someone to get your address. Drop this in the mail, and you win that. You win a Scott Trip original piece of art. And coming up right here in just a moment, we've got a video, a tutorial out there of the little blue forgetful fish. Finding Dory. No, we can't say that. It's a copyright Sorry, not issue. Not Finding Dory. It's not Finding Dory. It's Little Blue Fish. It was about a month ago I released it to our Patreon supporters as a sneak peek. Sneak peek. The rest of you guys get to see it this time around. We so show a lot of love to those Patreon people, I huh? do. Well, the Patreon people show us a lot of love. Because of the Patreon people, we've got... The camera crane over here, the good lighting, this Microphone. audio recorder, the new lens I just bought. You know, you guys are helping make this show a little bit better and maintain our equipment in, in good shape. So we thank you guys. All right, we're going to get quickly to Dory Forgetful Fish before it's out of vogue. Yes. So let's go. popular movies on the market right now involves a little blue fish that's lost. All right, we found her right here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my version of it. Now, I know there's a lot of them on the market. There's a lot of great designs on the market. I want to share this one with you, though. This one's inspired by a few people, but mostly it's just for me tweaking a design over and over and over again. And it starts with a blue 350. Dark blue preferably. You can use a lighter blue if you like, but I prefer the dark royal blue. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pinch a sidewall bubble in it. We're going to vent it down to where it's a very tiny sidewall. Not very big at all. See? And we're going to tie a black 260 the nozzle around that bubble. Secure it in place. And then cut off the excess nozzle. We don't want a lot of mass inside that joint there because that's also where we're going to anchor the eyes. Now squeeze the air back into that spot there. Don't let it stay flattened down. For the eyes, we're going to use a 5 inch round white inflated to about inch and a half to 2 inches. Tie it off, twist it in two, wrap it around real good to make sure it doesn't come loose, cut off our excess tail, nozzle rather, throw that away. All right, we're going to wrap it around that joint right there in the sidewall bubble. So it's just like that. 
Okay. Now we're going to bring our bubbles together and we're going to position the eyeballs and the black 260 up towards the top of the design. We're going to give them a squeeze together, wrapping around a couple times just like that. You don't want to make it too big so to get a nice oval shape. Okay. Then in our black 260, we're going to bring it back along the top edge all the way back to where those two pieces of the 350 are twisted together. Wrap it in real good. Make a half inch or one inch pinch twist. And then another half inch to one inch pinch twist in the black 260. Wrap it in there really good and nice and secure just like that. All right, and that puts us at this position right here. We're going to take off our excess tail of our 350. Hold on to that part. Don't let it get away because now we're going to pop the nozzle side. We're going to tie those two together so we don't get a leak right there. Cut off our excess. Just like that. Now, in the remainder of our 260 in black, we're going to soften it up, okay? Going to make a nice, little more than a hand width bubble, nice and soft, and twist, 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 a little space made with the 260 in between that bubble and the next, really soft bubble. A little more than a hand width. Wrap that back into the two pinch twists. Just like so. Take off our excess. Secure it in place. Now we're going to take the black 260 bubbles we just made and pass them through the middle of the body pulling them out to the outside. Just like that. Okay? Now, we're going to take our yellow two, 160 rather. We're going to do a hand, a little bit more than a hand with bubble. Do a three finger bubble. A three finger bubble. And a little more than a hand with bubble. We're going to twist them right back to each other, just like that. Take off our excess tail. Do not deflate it. Tie it off. You're going to need it for the fins. This is going to be our tail. Tie this together nice and secure. Cut off our excess and throw it away. Squish these together in the middle to twist our tail just like that. We're going to wrap that into the pinch twist at the back of the fish line. And that's going to put us at this point right here. Okay? All right, now we're going to soften this up just a little bit. We're going to do a three finger bubble, followed by a two finger bubble, and then another three finger bubble, and twist it together, tying it in, just like so. We're going to do a two finger bubble, followed by a three finger bubble, another two finger bubble, and one more three finger bubble. Twisting it together like so. We're going to pull off our excess. Tie everything. Like that. Cut off our excess. And that's going to be our fins.
And this is just going to pass right in between here. Secure it all in place, just like that. And there's the body of our little lost yellow blue fish. Now, we're going to add our ink work. We're going to start by drawing just a little mouth sort of off-center, just like so, with our white eddings. If you use an eddings, if not, just draw a regular little black mouth. Let that dry. Go up to our eyes and do nice big purple circles with a Sharpie. Go in with our black Sharpie. We're going to outline the mouth. Come around. Like that. And then put pupils in the eyes. And we're going to add just a little bit of shine to the eyes with our white eddings. And that is our little lost blue fish. Hope you guys get a lot of use out of this design. Um, I get, this is a daily thing for me. This is one I use in all my restaurant work. I do it with the core jobs if I have an under the sea theme. This one works great for that. So, you guys have a great one. Hey, hey you, kid, what? put away that book. Do you like video games? Uh, no, I'm like a grown adult. Do you like Pokemon Go? No. We have just the app for you, Pokemon Stop. Pokemon Stop? Let me download that. Now what? Nothing. You just sit there and wait while the Pokemon come to you. What? Yes, our street team of live action role players come to your front door dressed as your favorite Pokemon characters. Oh no. Who are you? I'm Pikachu. Got you. I'm Squirtle. Why? Got you. I'm Value Mealicorn. Ow! Got you. I'm Candy Corn. Candy Corn? Is our Candy Corn is our. No, 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 no. I, I don't, I'm Frappuccino. Whatever. Die, die. Pokemon, stop! Pokemon never stops. Didn't you read the user agreement? No. Pokemon will be with you forever. Also, we own one of your kidneys now. What? Oh, no. Download Pokemon Stop. Available wherever terrible things are sold. Hey guys, welcome back to a new segment that we're going to call Twister Tips. Twister we're, Tips! Exactly. We're going to take all sorts of tips, ideas, shortcuts, and life hacks and try to share them with our fellow Twisters to help make our jobs a little easier and a little bit better. Today, we're going to talk about static electricity. Now Scott, you've had some bad situations with static electricity, right? Yes. We all have. Really, we all have. Basically, this is the story of Goofus and Gallant. I started off as Goofus. I was making balloon animals at a restaurant, and I popped a balloon. Well, that's not too Goofus. But then I popped another balloon. Oh, that's no fun. And then every balloon at the table popped. Pop, pop, pop. It was terrible. A balloon would sit there, and it would just spontaneously explode. And each one of those is a little failure right in front of your face. And people look at you, and they're like, why, balloon guy, why? It was terrible. 
This happened to me again uh, about a year ago, and I was trying to think, what commonalities do these two dates have? It rained earlier in the day, both days. It wasn't raining at the time, but it still had that energy in the air. You know, it's kind of like dry electricity. And I texted you, you said you had the same issue. Yep. Well, not as bad, because, I mean, I'm good for Scallant. Oh, well, because I'm Sam. <laughs> but you can be Sam, too, using Static Guard. So I had this in my balloon bag, and I remembered the year before, all the balloons popped. I thought, it must be, I don't know if it's static electricity, uh, negative ions, um, the hand of fate, whatever. But I sprayed everything down with Static Guard, and balloon stopped popping. I mean, I sprayed them down until they're wet. You don't have to do that, but I did because I was frustrated at that point. But Static Guard came to the rescue. didn't pop any more balloons. Right. How and does it work? It works like this. We're going to take a static -y balloon. In fact, this is a very special baseball top print available from ContinentalSales.net. That's part of their private reserve. It is. Who designed that? I don't know, but everyone should have them. I agree. Especially in July. Static electricity works like that. And what is the science behind static electricity? Static electricity is... Fascinating. Um, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So we uh, don't want that to happen to our balloons. Right. So do I spray the balloon? You can spray yourself, you can spray the balloon, that's all you need. You don't need very much on the balloons themselves. And you'll see no what? more static electricity. What black magic now, is this? Oh, it's science. It is science. It is physics. Um, st the static guard helps remove all the static electricity from your clothes. You know that if you're wearing, uh, say, let's say you're wearing polyester dress pants and you're getting... A lot of the pants rubbing together, and you get that crackly pack. popping, you know, fanny packs. Okay. And you get that crackling, popping electricity. You touch people, you shock them with static. Static guard helps remove that. Also, it keeps it off the balloons, helps keep them from popping, helps keep them from sticking to stuff unnecessarily. I have found that, for me, what works is about an hour before a gig, I'll spray myself with it really well and, and let it just take the static off my clothes. And every so often, I might you know, refresh it just a little bit, but I, I don't want the odor, and that doesn't have an unpleasant odor. I like to have the uh, the scent sort of dissipate a little bit. Well, you know, I make these bags of balloons for my library shows where I pre-make 150 balloons, right. and that, that amuses you for some reason. Yes. But if you have that many balloons in a plastic trash bag, the static really builds up. You can, like, almost feel the vibration. I do spray them down with this, and I throw a dryer sheet in there, too. I don't yeah. know if that does anything. It does. Makes them smell good. Yeah, and it also helps remove the static electricity. But every time you move that bag around, you shake it up, and it almost hums with static. So I spray this down. Now, the, the tricky part is, this stuff is really hard to find, right? No, it's no. everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere in the laundry section at all your major supermarkets. I get it at Walmart, I get it at Kroger's, I get it at Publix, um, Kmart. anywhere in Kmart. Costco. Cause I don't know. I don't have a Costco okay. membership. Anywhere you find laundry supplies, you can find Static Guard. And it's just a great, useful tool for us twisters. Twister tips. Sesame seeds on my vegetarian balloon burger. 
In fact, we have our whole balloon burger combo here with balloon fries and a pork castic. Um, it's pork soda. Por ah, I see. Okay. And this must be a, a Primus um, themed restaurant. Now, I brought you here today. Did they do pork soda? Yes. Oh, good. I brought you here today to show you this really cool super glue. We call it Russian super glue. Apparently, it is from North Carolina. But you can get this from continentalsales.net, laroxmagic.com, or possibly other places as well. Somebody brought this to one of the balloon conventions and showed how awesome this is, and everyone has been using it Irina since. Irina Lobanova. One more time. Irina Lobanova. It's taking the world by storm, except for when it pops and blows your eyes shut. But that's only happened to one person we know of. Oh, that sounded painful, too. So, let's see how it works. We're going to field test this by gluing this order of fries to this ordinary balloon headband. Hmm. Should we go sideways? Ah, oh, let's do it like this. Oh, why not? Woo, it's working! Except I only glued part of it. So, let's... Anchor that in place with the pork soda. Really? Pork soda? And the gluing time is so fast. It's on. It's bonded for life. I want to glue these two together because I didn't do that very well. And also, that whole bonding for life super fast, uh, same with your fingers, so be very careful with it. Good. And our vegetarian balloon burger, which kind of negates the whole pork soda though, huh? Kind of like, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, well. There we go. Can get that on very well. And a little bit for that pinch twist. There you go. This stuff is... Oh, there are fries backwards. Dope. Because I'm smart. But anyway. Here's our... Fast food headband using Russian super glue. As long as it doesn't leak on my hair. Uh oh. Roll the arms in here. Roll. 
you've got a really fast and useful character. Thank you. Thank you. So this is this is my go. go I know I can talk now. My go-to line piece because Brendan Brown's come in so many different really cool things. This can be you can hand it out as is, brace it, headband. Now, the reason my little pitch to us so it can be flat left. So do we want to twist one along? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to see all the variations first? It's a 50-year-old. Yeah, um, show the variations oh. and then we'll do it. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Five inch round 
and just used it as mittens. I use rounds because they're really fast and use a 260 if you have it. The round will work faster for me. And then I took a blue of a white 160 for the trim. Made a loop around the bottom, go up, loop. So I've got a really fast full body sand bed, two minutes tops. So I know you guys are asking, there's all those really cool five inch prints. What about those 11 inch prints? Do they translate well to the chubby bunnies? Why, yes they do. You've got giant chubby bunnies. See, yep. If you use Metallitex, you can do it at a one 360. If you Qualitex, two 350s. I, I can just get it at a one 350, but I, it's so much easier to do just use two. For me, it's about the amount of time. So. And, okay, back to the baby. So, baby New Year's, I use this all the time, but also baby showers. And lately, I've been getting a lot of um, gender reveals. <coughs> so, whatever sort you want, this is just my really fast one. It's like if I'm doing it at a restaurant and I got time. If you make this baby a little bit smaller in proportions, it'll you can stuff it inside of a 646. And then, especially if you know ahead of time, you know, oh yeah, if you're doing this online when you're talking back and forth, at the rates of the baby. Because oh. I kind of went back and forth and didn't think about it until the night before and it was too late, so. I, I showed up with three different bags, and as soon as I saw the mom, I'm like, okay, <laughs> this one. And then she's like, what are the other ones? Oh, it's for my next delivery that I have today. So, that'll save you time. So what do you think, boy or girl? Girl. So, if you're delivering this to somebody, you make sure that the baby's at the bottom, and you instruct them, you know, you can even make a little X right here, or to pop it. You know. <laughs> uh, no, no problem with the fingernail, but hey, it's a boy. So, so that's like the most versatile thing. Use that. So. Well, guys, that brings to a close another episode of the Balloon Blast video show. Aww. We've had a lot of fun making this one, though, Scott. We have. It's going to be two more months. I know, oh, except for but that. we've oh, got okay. tutorials coming oh, up for yeah. the Patreon supporters. In fact, if you're not a Patreon supporter yet, skid on over there to uh, patreon.com forward slash purple pig. Check it out and consider, you know, donating to the cause. Right. Because we need to improve life. stuff. And you know what? There's also other stuff that people want to go to balloon hyphen animals. Dot com. Balloon-animals.com forward slash, slash catalog. catalog. And check out some of the uh, digital downloads over there from us and some of our friends like Buster Balloon. Right. And some of the stuff we have to offer it ain't too shabby. No, Got no. Got that little red race car bracelet. Yeah, that the one's... Red race car it's, still gets, it's still a, a winner. It does. If you're at a restaurant and you say, you know, do you want a blah, a blah, a blah, or a red race car? Like yeah, race car. I'm always going to take a red race car over a blah any day. Oh, well, those are pretty good, too. Anyway. Anyway, thank you guys once again for helping support the Balloon Blast video show. Thank you guys for watching the show. And until next time, you guys have a great one. And now Sam will dance for you. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that's not the way a selfie works. But we found a way to bring it down into what we like to call lame frames. Lame frames? Why do you call them that? Hey, see for yourself. Let me show you how to make one. Take a 321 balloon, like this. Blow it up to the stinger, like this. I feel like Matt Balloon. And then take a five inch round. We have the Hulk. Oh wait, the Incredible Hulk for this one. Hey, guy, knot to knot. Unknot those knots. And you have a Hulk head on a stick like a popsicle. We're going to take an arbitrary colored five inch round. Tie that to the stinger end. Chop off the unwanted pieces. And you have this. Make another one. <laughs> this. Keep, keeping that with Matt Balloon is pretty cool. And in fact, for this one, we're using the four Avengers Assemble balloons from the five inch round Avengers Assemble assortment. If you do it like so, you have a tiny little frame for your tiny little face. And the best part is, for Instagram, it's square, so it's just perfect for taking a selfie. Avengers Assemble! Hey, it's me! I'm like a superhero! Also works with zombies! Zombie selfie! Or any other 5-inch round prints. Do this, or don't. I don't care.